when you finally get a hold of the jackass you've been chasing, and it's time to find out everything they know, can be one of the best scenes in the game if done right. Here's 10 intense interrogation scenes in video games. Number 10. In Mass Effect 2, you have to interrogate Elias Kellum for Thane's loyalty mission. You're kind of given the choice as to what you want to do, as is essentially the point of Mass Effect, and you can be kind, you can be persuasive, and you can just kind of punch the guy who is tied down to a chair. Which makes you look like kind of a dick, but it does work. One of the funnier things about that part is actually when he decides that he's going to get you in trouble over punching him. It's like, do you know who I am? I've been dead before. You can't get me into trouble. Number nine, Splinter Cell Conviction. For a stealth game, Splinter Cell essentially mainly relies on violence. Like this scene where you find a dude in the bathroom, rough him the hell up, and then he basically submits and is like, okay, this is where you need to go. You're like, that's not enough. I need to break this sink with your head. And it's like, all right, well, sneaking around's a good thing to do most of the time, but hey, beating dudes up in the bathroom can be fun too. Somebody might say a little bit not cool on account you're kind of violating the sanctity of the restroom, but I don't know. Did you see that restroom? It looks kind of like, I mean, I don't think it'd been cleaned in a while. Also, to say I'm tired of hearing about the sanctity of restrooms is an understatement. Number eight, the Punisher. Hey, you know what works better than beating people up in the bathroom? Putting their feet in a wood chipper. Pun Punisher does not give a shit. And whether he does or doesn't get the information, he usually just kills the person. I don't even know where to start with the Punisher because there's like a billion different weird deaths. You can drown people in toilets filled with crap. You can drill their head. You can crush them in a garbage thing. All in the name of the investigation. Number seven, what was nice about LA Noir is that you could kind of end up calling people on their bullshit, which is fun to do. You basically go around and collect facts and then throw those facts in the person's face. The interrogations in L.A. Noir are probably some of the most advanced ones. This particular one with this fella named Hugo is pretty tough on him because the evidence kind of points directly at him. And if you spent a long time building a case, you can tell his demeanor by the end of it is kind of a little deflated. Now, I won't spoil it for you, but uh, this is a good one. Number six, the Last of Us interrogation scene isn't really interactive, but it does stand out because it's well scripted and active. In fact, that's kind of the thing that stands out about The Last of Us the most is just how real a lot of it seems for such an unreal situation. You can clearly tell that Joel cares about Ellie, and that's really the underlying point of this scene, is that he'll go to great lengths to ensure the safety of who's essentially become kind of a surrogate daughter to him. Number five, Grand Theft Auto V's torture scene kind of got everybody into quite the tizzy. Nobody could really determine the exact morality of of what was going on, whether it was criticizing torture, whether it was reveling in torture, and many a social media argument ensued. Ultimately, the stated point of the scene was satire, so one could assume that it was criticizing torture. However, it is fair to say that it did kind of revel in it. Despite that, it was an interesting scene at very least, and perhaps a lot of the points that were brought up in the argument were at least worth the scene itself. Number four, in Metal Gear Solid 3, when Naked Snake gets captured, we learn just how far Boss is willing to go in order to keep her cover intact. And it's far. She proves to Colonel Volgan, at least to his satisfaction, that everything she is doing is to push forward with her defection, which is the ultimate point of the game. Now to put it in a nice way, Colonel Volgan kinda likes torture. Maybe a little too much. So things aren't exactly fun for Snake. But Ocelot begins to interfere, and it culminates in Snake losing an eye. Keeping with Metal Gear Solid, number three is of course Metal Gear Solid 1. How can you talk about Metal Gear Solid's torture scenes and not mention the one that started it all? The mechanism was simple enough, you had to repeatedly press a button in order to avoid giving in to the torture. But this was one of the first times we really saw the depth of the Metal Gear Solid series compared to that of many other action games. You could of course fail and die, or you could even just give up. And if that happened, you actually survived, and you dealt with the consequences that eventually led to Meryl, the quote-unquote rookie dying. And that's some pretty heavy stuff, especially for a game that was made in the 1990s, which really, although things could get fairly dark, didn't really present us with a whole lot of undesirable outcomes. And also Revolver Ocelot, who shot the other snake in the eye in the previous point, well, he's just a dick. A little bit less freaky of one than Colonel Volgan, still an effective torturer. Number two, Call of Duty Black Ops. In this scene, you're quote-unquote interrogating a guy. By this point, we know that in video games, that means we're basically punching him. But 
But in this one in particular, you put a piece of glass into their mouth and then start punching them. Now I've seen argument on both sides of why that's a kind of weird thing to do in a video game. And some people say, well, it doesn't really show anything, so it's not that bad. It's like, you did not just put a piece of glass in someone's mouth and punch them, meaning their mouth is now filled with cuts and small pieces of glass. And I don't know whether that's inappropriate enough to criticize on account it is obviously a game where you're shooting people, but that's taking it up a notch. But let's be honest, the story in Call of Duty games isn't exactly the most intimately detailed story that's ever been made, so we kind of has to give you the info. Otherwise, what else are you gonna do in Call of Duty? And number one, in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, there's a scene where you take somebody you need some information out of and tape their hands to your car's windshield. You then proceed to drive around as though you have a death wish. Now, I'm shocked that's never been in a movie. It seems like something that somebody would put in a movie. That's actually rather clever, at least as a plot device. It's obviously not clever to drive around with your hands duct taped to a windshield, but it remains probably one of the more unique interrogation scenes in video games, as most of the time that's just regarded as put two people in a room and somebody shouts or punches the other person. As we saw earlier in this video, that's what Grand Theft Auto even does. Not that it can't be done well, it obviously can, but I think this Grand Theft Auto scene does it particularly well. What's your favorite interrogation scene on this list? Or just in any video game for that matter? Meet us in the comments, we'd love to have a discussion with you about that. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week. And as always, we thank you very much for watching this one, and we will see you next time right here on Game Ranks.